All right, so no introductions or introductions again this time. Third time I probably do a video such as this, but um, gotta give mass credit to the dude I'm playing the backwards names instrumental music, but uh, it's an actual IRL name we haven't put on this. Lucas Pickman. Lucas Pickman. And it says, it's like right here, musician based in the Minnesota, USA, Midwest. Right next to Wisconsin, not that far away from there. Not for me. I'm literally halfway across the country now. I'm in Nevada, bro. Or right between there and Arizona. It says, yeah, that. It says, it flew to 11. He's been playing music for over 21 years. Over the time, he's become a multi instrumental, expanding many woodline strings, percussions, and instruments. So, all mass credit goes to him. He made a bunch of Undertale, lots of Nintendo, lots of like old spirited away on music remixes, too. So, massive shout out, massive plug goes to the man. I swear to God, I'm not getting paid by Patreon or what's it called? Um, Coffee or Ko fi or any other sports catch up or subscribe star apps. I swear to God, I'm getting paid to say that shit in the bottom of my heart. This guy, I listened to him just literally last week's Saturday and earlier this past week Sunday to almost all of his tracks. His shit. It bumps. It's a bop, a beat, a slap. It is a freaking god dang. Absolutely incredible to me personally. It's like ear candy to the max. I listen to his shit for hours. His stuff is top notch. Some dude from the Midwest, too. He's really good in his percussion and stuff, too. So, a uh, massive shout out goes to him. I usually don't do that anymore, but. I'm not going to leave the link for this one. I will for the other one, though, because it's from Yahoo. This is kind of like a New York Post and the Onion sort of is, especially in the Mary Sue, so I'm not trying to get no freaking, like, copyright claims or stuff on any of this or lot of lawsuits on any of me. Hopefully, I don't. This is a fake one, though. It says, um, Unalive Hoax. Who is EDP445? Why is he trends from Olivia Burt? I still get credits when credits do that, so I'm only going to read half the article and same with the other one. Because this happened, like, a month ago. Shout out to my dude Cheetos. I think his name's Cheetos or Cheeto. He talked about it. So I'll leave the link to his video. He explains it in full discussions from like three days ago. So it's brand new to me. But uh, this happened like way back in July. So <laughs> a while ago. Woo wee. So yeah. Rumors began circulating online the former YouTuber was dead, which thank God a lot of this shit was misinformation, disinformation. Shit. Some disinfo agent probably did that. So I'm just going to read up to here. Um, da -da -da, Moreland claimed he was innocent. This claim set up. This guy, Bryant Moreland Johnson Emerson, a.k.a. better known as EVP445. And my other dude. And uh, I always, always remember him. I'll always know him as RFB, a.k.a. Richard from Boston. But he goes by another name now. It's more like Jailbreak Overlander. Shout out to my boy Jailbreak freaking Overland. He did a whole video. I haven't watched it yet. I'm kind of on the fence if I want to do a reaction strict, serious commentary to it. Because there's another one that happened about with freaking Chris Chan, along with another one with freaking <laughs> the, the fucking uh, Romanian man himself, Mr. Tate, Top G. Another one happened with him, along with another one. These these stories just keep popping in and out like crazy with Sneeko again. So I don't know. I might do those either Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So. It is going to be jam-packed this Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and this Friday, too, because I'm doing this on a Thursday. But let's truly jump into this. Says, Every down and again, a different celebrity or social media stars allegedly have died. And uh, let's play this now. He's allegedly died. Allegedly died. With the latest being Brian Morland Emerson, a.k.a. EDP445. I'm not going to say what that means, too, because very disgusting-ass foul mouth mother effer. Even though I do cuss occasionally and I say fuck, shit, ass, cunt cocksucker, dipshit, F-word, I can't say that anymore, and the other hard racial slur that's, like, um, it's the night, it's the way worse for a word for idiot and dumbass and donkey and jackass, but it's with the R word. Starts, it sounds like the word started and redundant. Let's just say it like that, because I can't say the word, it's like sweet tart, but put the R-E in it and take the sweet part out of it. You know what I'm saying can't allude to it any more than that. It's really, really jumping out. So enough talking and bullshit around. Let's get to this news article about one to do for like four or five days. The rumors quickly spread online that promoting EDP 445, eat the punani. That's really what that means. Eat that twat 445. But like the female genitals part. That's what it means. 445 is dead. The trend on Twitter and TikTok. Many people fell for the hoax as ex-YouTubers have previously claimed he was a stage five kidney failure. During a live stream, I didn't know that because I didn't keep up with any of that drama at that time. 
is very much alive and even planning to try to revive his internet career. Oh my god. This dude cannot freaking lead the internet at all. He's got to keep going to other social medias and other social media platforms because that's the only way he knows how to make money. He's trying to be some sort of celebrity in Hollywood. I guess since he never made pounds, it's just four, five, six hundred pounds. Fat ass couldn't fucking do it. I guess he wanted to make this thing his full time career job. No. Tough chance, buddy. After you end up being a diddler and a child, you know what? And a PDF file? Uh, allegedly? Well, at this point, that's probably like almost confirmed. Let's not beat around the bush. You can never go back to that. You can never have this YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, social media platform influencer job as your full time career. You're excommunicado from this shit, bro. And that's it. It's as simple as that. But let's move on. He's very much alive and even planning to try him re oh my Revive his internet career. Reports claim that Moreland created. This is like that whole me. How many times are you teach this lesson? Man, it's sad because he's 32 years old, but he looks way older. He looks like he's 40, 40 or 50. I know, granted, yeah. I'm a big fat ass boy myself. I'm a big giant, huge husky ass on my effort, too. I'm going to keep playing this on Luke, by the way. His other stuff's still good, too. Lucas Pickleman, aka um, Instrument Mania. But my God, dude, come on. He's like never gonna learn his lesson. He keeps doing the same old bullshit over and over and over and over and over. And I don't even need thoughts using the pinch calculation because I'm already doing it now. But I'm gonna get to the strict thoughts later. Who knows? Ports claim that Moreland created a TikTok account in February 2022. It's quickly cured more than that. Yeah, I remember hearing about that two years ago. And 170,000 followers. Others said he also attempted to come back and fade Instagram. Well, where did the trend start? The trend stream is it, yeah, seemed to get some gain some serious traction online of May 10th, 2023. Some tweets suggested that the rumors began in early March. May began expressing their condolences. Many began expressing condolences and opinions on Moreland despite no official report confirming the fake news. Former blogger was alone to target a death hoax in December of 2022, sparkling similar social media frenzies. I remember hearing something a little bit about this. Some people were really, really glad about this, especially the allegations on the dude. Psh, I ain't surprised. If I was a father or a husband or something, I'd be a billion times more angry at this. Uh, I'd probably be screaming half the time. You wouldn't be able to know what the hell I'm saying. Unless we're fine. But the claims of more lands on aliving was like wildfire. There was little symptom, sympathy being expressed from the start. A larger majority... The users were unmoved, and the alleged news with some even expressing their parental light. Oof. Others speculated it was a scheme to drum up support as he tries to break back into the online world. One said, still can't believe they found my boy EDP445 unalived in his house. Another wrote, EDP445 finally unalived. Third one says, people celebrating EDP4, EDP445's unaliving when he isn't even dead in the wild yet. Fourth one wrote, ADP 445 might not be unalive, or at least his career is. While fifth one said, Yo, genuine questions, EDP 445 dead already. He has said something about having a month left in January. Yeah, so, um, thoughts, use opinion, speculation, strict ones now. Like I said before, I said again, I don't care if this fool's gone or not, man. It's crazy. He, he brings like old school to me personally, a lot of middle school, high school, like comedy back in the day. He's like a failed version of what Dave Chappelle. He wish he, pr he probably wish it could have been Richard Pryor, or Dave Chappelle, or fucking who else? Oh, I'm trying to remember some other dude like um, Mike Epps, some other African American black dudes or comedians, Mike Epps, D. Ray Davis, dudes like those. I guess he just never made it. Though. He never made it to Hollywood, unfortunately, and that is what it is for that fool. But he fucked up, man. It's like, I hope this is the last video I've had to make about this dude, because this dude's old as fuck. Now there's another video I heard from it, too. I'll see if I remember to leave the link in the description box below. If I don't, you guys can search at your own time, because this, this news topic of this dude has been beaten to this literal freaking pummeled to the ground, as far as everything else goes. So anyways, yeah, enough for EDP 445. Just get a fucking normal job. Go to another country like Canada or fucking Tijuana. Or something, learn Spanish, or go all the way down to Brazil and learn pro Portuguese and change your identity over there. That's what I do if I was home. <laughs> I'm just saying, just put them out there. So, enough of that shit. Let's get on just for a little bit of this. I know this is way past my moment. I gotta give credit to my dude, Achito. I'll leave the whole link to his video, but this is over a month old. 
It says, um, I'll get to this one in a second. I just want to read the topic up here from Yahoo. And then I heard some other shit, which I don't want to get into it because, like, how people worship Ariana Grande, whether they worship Ariana Grande or the other ones, especially the other celebrity worship, like Beyonce Knowles or freaking this one, Taylor Swift. I say literally anything bad about any of these three, or even one like JoJo Siwa. Like, I don't know. I think, to me personally, she's kind of like, what's it called for a bait? <laughs> I think she's just like open season for freaking um, my personal opinion she's open season she's she should be allowed to get criticized by you know because she didn't come up as a famous celebrity actress or movie star or old school freaking music artist and stuff about taylor swift oh the stuff on bitch shoot and rumble and brighty the only thing i'll say is like especially hardcore super ultra hardcore about this one this one here compared to mainly focusing on jones see well taylor swift though man I remember in the, if you were around the late 2000s, early 2010s, YouTube, woo, you remember the shit they used to say about Lady Gaga, Katy Perry, Kesha and all that, especially with the other one, the other political leader. I'm not going to get into it, but one of the other ones, especially the one that used to be the president of the United States before Trump and before Bo Jiden, um, Michelle Obama, <laughs> that they're not really a, you know, they're not really a born natural female woman. They're a guy. They're a man. That's all I'm going to say on that. You can't even imagine how absolutely disgusting it's how those comments are. Because I still go on VidMax, BitChute occasionally, and Rumble. My God, they're massively super dirty unhinged. I don't know if they're bots people that are talking or they're fake algorithm. They're a bunch of humans that are full of super mega ultra hatred to the point they want these people like not breathing anymore. To Beyonce, Taylor Swift, and Ariana Grande and all that. I remember I made an older video a while back. I think I privated it, thank God. Because it was very cringy what I said about Ariana Grande. Because I think it was something about her being a Pokemon fan. It's like, how she's supposed she to do that when she's all in this shit? Yeah, so, oh, this original from BuzzFeed, but I saw it from Yahoo first. So, Jojo Siwa, I don't believe nothing they said. Made a hilarious statement after Karma made history of the most disliked music video 24. Oh, yeah, I remember seeing this video. This shit's old. You know, I'm going to give another plug into another channel. I'm giving plug against left and right today in this channel. I don't know why. I think her name was, I don't know if it was Ready to Glare or another chick, Evangelina Scove. Yeah. Evangelina Skov. I think she did a video about JoJo Siwa a while. I know she's done a fuck ton of them on there. Oh, man. That weren't to me. It was one of those three girls that did, it, did the video on it. And then she kept saying, this likes, this likes, this likes. So this is old news, so he was way late on this. This way past four days old, yeah. And she kept saying it the whole way. The exact same fucking way. Like, my God, you're kidding me, dude. I'm not going to lie. I was a freaking, yeah, thoughts, views, and opinions on that. Like, back in the day, 07 to like, even 06 to like 2012, my freshman, sophomore year of community college, like, I idol worshipped the shit when it came to Kesha and Katy Perry. Those were my girls, bro. I absolutely loved the living hell of them. I still like even, even Kim Kardashian for a point. I can't tell you how many times I freaking fapped off her. Gen Zers are watching. <laughs> Edged off or gooned off the freaking pictures of freaking Katy Perry and freaking Kesha. They were my jams. They were my idols. I just saw them as a real beautiful attractive until I learned a lot of the evil ugliness of secret societies and sort of occultism that they were involved in. I stopped giving a shit about them after that. But anyways, um, yeah, she says, so the most female, the this one just got released, the most disliked video on my YouTube, I've done one female artists who would go. Yeah, fourth place goes on and there's something dislikes. And then I had Jojo Siwa here at the end, I think. Hold on. Oh, here it is. It says, I'm the only person that I can say I beat Taylor Swift on the song or something. Jojo Siwa just said confidently, closing her laptop, I'll take it. And the caption, for the TikTok, oh, I thought it was an Instagram. Sometimes they just have a weird symbiotic relationship for some reason. What a day to celebrate Karma broke a record 900 second dislikes in the win. Yeah, this girl is absolutely, I can say she's a metaphor shit. She sounds like a chain smoker. I made fun of her like three or four times. I know she's young enough to be my little sister, but man. Oh, God, her ego, narcissism, nihilism is through the fucking roof. It's all good for no matter here. No intro, outros. Talk to you guys soon. Do this after safe, so cautious. Take your safe and uh, talk to you guys soon. Bye.